Let's talk underrated Funko Pops. Welcome to the Gasplecast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On this episode, we're going to talk about some pops that are very underrated. And they don't get enough love. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content like this right here. Funko releases so many pops. Some catch on and are very popular, and then some are just forgotten. And some of those underrated Funko Pops are some of our favorites. We have compiled a list of 10 of our most underrated Funko Pops that deserve a little bit more love. Like my friend Surter here from Thor Ragnarok. This is such an awesome pop. He's translucent. He has a painted skeleton. He has a skull face. He's made of fire with a fire sword. This is one of my very favorite Marvel Funko Pops. But you don't hear that many people talking about him. The first on my list is the original genie from Aladdin that glows because glue's better than original, not the weird Will Smith genie. What? I love his swirly little magic body coming from the lamp, and I just love that he looks so much like original genie. If you had him sitting on the shelf, anyone could point him out. And who doesn't love glow in the dark Funko Pops? I mean, come on. And this one glows so bright, he could light up the whole room. What? Crossbones from Captain America Civil War was awesome. He was great in the film, and his Funko Pops were awesome too. Target released a battle damage Crossbones, and I thought he was the best variation of Crossbones that we got in Funko Pop form. But for some reason, nobody seemed to like him. I mean, how can you not like a villain that has a painted skull on their helmet? It's amazing. The next on my list is Scary Ickis from NYCC 2017. This guy is so cool looking. I absolutely love this pop, and he definitely did not get as much love as I thought he would. He got absolutely no love. And I remember seeing this one on the shelves all the time for years. He's probably still on some. He is adorable. I love cute and scary, and he's the perfect mix of those two things. When Avengers Infinity War came out, there were a ton of pops released. One of my favorites from that set was Groot with the axe. He's awesome. And little do people know, his axe glows in the dark. His what glows in the dark? His axe. There are so many Groot Funko Pops out there that it's very easy to overlook this one. But because of the glow in the dark axe, he really, really stands out. And if you have him, go try to glow that axe. It's going to blow your mind. Demonic Nun. She is perfect. She is scary. She is creepy. I love her. And she does not get enough love from people. I painted her so that her eyes glow in the dark and she's so much more creepy. Spooky. Not too long ago, Spider-Hawk was dropped at Walgreens. It's the biggest version of Spider-Man that we have and he's amazing. I saw this Funko Pop on pretty much every Walgreens shelf. It didn't seem like many people wanted him. I consider him an underdog. I think he's an awesome addition to the Spider-Man lineup and you can get him for something like $15 which I think is cheaper than purchasing him in Walgreens. Nearly Headless Nick from SDCC 2018 is another good one. He was the first Harry Potter ghost they released, and he's nearly headless. Oh my god, that little hinge is awesome. Yeah, and it's crazy to me that not many people really cared too much about him. I think he's so unique and he glows. Yeah? With the huge Harry Potter fan base and the glow and the neck hinge, I thought that he was going to be much more talked about. Archangel is a really cool X-Men character. This pop ended up being sort of a shelf warmer. You'd see him at pretty much every GameStop that you went to. It didn't seem like too many people wanted him, but he's a really cool pop. Why he wasn't as popular, I still don't know to this day. But man, he is awesome, and you can get him for absolutely nothing. Dr. Fingelstein is incredibly underrated. I feel like part of that is because I don't remember him really advertised with the fact that his head pops open. The head popping open is amazing with that little hinge. It really is. One of the most notable scenes in Nightmare Before Christmas for me is when he opens his little skull hinge and scratches his brain. It makes this pop so ridiculously cool and I don't understand where the love is for this guy. Maybe if they advertised that his little head opened, maybe he would have been a little bit more popular. You never know. Or maybe if he had like a chase sticker on him, he would be. Chases! Guys, what do you think about all of our selections for the most underrated Funko Pops? I think our choices are pretty good. Some of them are absolutely amazing and hopefully one of these days they will get the love that they deserve. If you can't find them in stores, head over to Macari or on eBay. I'm sure you'll find them pretty cheap or even Amazon. Sometimes Amazon has these old Funko Pops for nothing. They're just trying to get rid of them. What do you think about our most underrated Funko Pops? Do you agree with us? Do you have a better list? If you do, let us know your list down in the comments section below. It's that time again. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. 
We will catch you next time. Bye.